Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you in this Delhi UPSC MCQ series. 24th of October it is and important sources we are taking here on daily basis from PIB section, from the newspapers, from the magazines and from all other important sources we are taking these questions and extremely important this session is for uh, various examinations especially for the UPSC one. So let's start the lesson. 70% off is going on and uh, it will stay till 30th of October. A very important opportunity. Many students, they faced uh, some issues uh, in the calling process there and some queries were not solved but uh, now i have conveyed your uh, concerns and you will get the res resolution there for sure so you join these important paid courses with 159 rupees per month and that will be very much helpful pocket news app is trending on google pay regarding these courses and other issues you can call on these numbers these are two numbers where all your queries will be solved and no problem will be there in the future and uh, chat section is available here PDF you will get here on this telegram channel which is given here on this Facebook group so you can send me a request there and follow me on Instagram too first question recently in news Sycamore what is that Sycamore is it a spacecraft is it a space telescope or is it a algorithm for in quantum mechanics you see Sycamore is certainly based on some quantum theories but it's a quantum processor in the field of computing there has been a giant leap which is taken by these uh, experts and Google takes this credit they developed an important quantum processor called Sycamore and they did something which is unimaginable means the normal computer which takes around 10,000 years to complete a process they completed this process with just 200 seconds this is really really phenomenal and mythical speed of uh, computing and this particular innovation single this innovation it has a potential to bring a revolution in the upcoming world and surely all the processes are gonna be elevated now and quantum processor is gonna change the whole game there the theories of quantum mechanics they are applied here quantum uh, uh, physics quantum mechanics we hear about them they, these are the most advanced fields most important fields when we are talking about space and theories and uh, universe and all and superposition is something where you see in uh, computers in machine language one and zero these are two binaries so at one time there is one or there is zero but here with the superposition phenomena in this quantum processor at any given time it can be both so these kind of uh, things are taken here and uh, 54 qubits interconnected in lattice pattern these were there and they applied the phenomena of entanglement and uh, this is how they made this thing possible means within 200 seconds they completed the process which a regular machine will take 10,000 years to complete means this is really phenomenal and it is Google's uh, uh, important initiative and you can see Sundar Pichai here the Google CEO so that's very very important GS paper 3 will be very much applicable here Hubble Space Telescope Hubble Space Telescope is working we all know it was started in 1990s and it is not going to be the successor actually it is uh, written just opposite James Webb Space Telescope is going to be the successor of Hubble Space Telescope so this is wrong it is working since 90s and it has given us a lot of insight in the astronomy area the universe the galaxies and all now james webb is gonna bring a revolution the work started regarding james webb in 1990s but uh, till date uh, uh, it is not uh, started yet so in january 2021 hopefully they will start it the construction is totally completed and it was the information in august month and they said nasa said that we have completed the construction of it. hexagonal mirrors are there and total 6.5 meter diameter length will be there for the mirror in james webb in comparison to hubble's 2.3 so this is wrong second surely this information was there in the newspaper today that a monster galaxy has been found and they found it uh, with an interesting information it was created 12.8 billion years ago means uh, it was the time in the starting of this universe and uh, after the big bang phenomena the universe started expanding so 12.8 billion years ago it was created but how do we know about it you see how do we see things suppose this is a table in front of me and the light is uh, uh, coming on the table and it is getting reflected and reaching up to my eyes so this is how I see suppose this light doesn't reach up to my eye then i will not be able to see this table here i will not know that whether this table is here or not 
suppose this light reaches to me after one year then after one year i will see the table at this place so the table was there uh, one year back but now i see it so this is the phenomena which is applicable here 12.8 billion years ago this this uh, uh, galaxy was created monster galaxy was created but the light reached up to us after 12.8 billion years so that's why it's phenomenal but the hubble space telescope was not used here uh, a simple radio telescopes array which is there in chile mountains those were used there with the important team so this is also wrong d none is the right answer here you can see 12.5 billion years it uh, uh, took to reach to earth so the information is given here in the text please go through it most of galaxy they have found it and they they are waiting that when the james webb telescope will come it will see a lot of insight into it this is the data regarding hubble space telescope and which is there working in low earth orbit it is the latest one and now the new one james webb telescope it will come in 2021 after two years this is hubble telescope this is james webb telescope the details are given here next commission for conservation of antarctic marine living resources cca mlr i discussed this issue in the morning newspaper and i told you it is also called a convention or you may say it's a commission it is surely a part of antarctic treaty system this antarctic treaty system started in 1961 and after 21 years the cca mlr was established the main theme is to conserve the living resources of antarctica it's a continent no native humans were there and uh, it is not like an arctic ocean arctic is a ocean it's a continent antarctica is a continent highly vulnerable and very important researches are going on and it was there in the news the fourth cohort uh, for a all female expedition went to antarctica recently one indian was part of it so antarctica is in focus and india is surely a member so both the statements sorry uh, uh, this statement is uh, wrong first is correct only one is the right answer here cca mlr it was established in 1982 to conserve the marine life and it had established a important conservation area near ross sea ross sea is in antarctica west to it and in the eastern part another sanctuary uh, was about to come but uh, this idea was blocked by russia and china so they are discussing it that uh, the biggest marine protected area in the eastern antarctica that will come and this uh, cca mlr it's uh, its headquarters there in australia australia's island state tasmania is located south to it and in tasmania hobart is the place which is capital to tasmania so there the headquarters is there okay hobart in tasmania in australia so this is the issue next this was the information doubt over proposal to create an antarctic ocean sanctuary v remember that this is very important cca mlr is very very important next snow leopard snow leopard is found only in higher himalayan stretches no it is found throughout the central asian region including himalayas upper stretches so in the indian mainland it is not found it is only found in the upper himalayan himalayan areas of uh, uh, kashmir to arunachal pradesh so it is wrong and this is correct that india has decided to conduct a first ever survey of this animal but it, but it is not critically endangered it is vulnerable in the iucn category so this is also wrong d none is the answer many of the times my answers are d because i want you to search these about search, search about these things i don't want you to uh, give some guess there you need to search for the answers there you can pause the video and you can search for it here snow leopard it looks like that you see the heavy tail which is there a uh, 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 thick fur is there because uh, uh, it's found in the cold region and it is found in 12 countries india nepal bhutan kyrgyzstan afghanistan tajikistan all throughout these cold areas and there is a important program gslep global snow leopard ecosystem protection program in india environment ministry is running this program and they launched this uh, survey under it so that's the important information okay so this is given here you can see in the orange color this is the area where it is found in the central asian region and it's vulnerable that's important next imf imf released its latest doing business report dbr is it correct no it is world bank upsc has asked this question many times world bank releases uh, ease of doing business report and we have taken a important jump of 14 position but this statement is wrong because we are at 63rd position this year we were at 77 in 2019 in the 2020 uh, year 
index we are at 63rd position so this is wrong and this is also wrong d10 is the right answer doing business report in the areas of insolvency resolution and uh, in areas of trading across borders construction permits we have uh, improved a lot out of 10 categories we have improved in 7 1 so we have got good score here and uh, importantly in the last five years we have improved our rank by 79 positions and today we are at 63rd position means we were there at 140 second position in 14 and now we are at 63rd position out of 190 countries so this is a great achievement and a lot we need to uh, we need to improve uh, just to reach in the top of these lists china is near top there these are the indicators where we have improved a lot and overall our rank was there in uh, 18 year as 77 now at 63 but this index is released in 19 but the index is called dbr 2020 okay so there should not be any confusion regarding that this is the issue these are the performance uh, features next nam summit i discussed this issue in the morning 19th nam, NAM summit is happening in baku country but it is not in Uzbekistan. Baku is there, the capital of Azerbaijan. So that's very, very important. And uh, non alignment movement, India is a founding member. Bandung process was started in 1955. Bandung is the city in Indonesia. After the World War II, this was a very unique phase in the world. The world was uh, totally polarized, and two important poles were there Soviet Union and, and uh, America. We did not want to go with any of them, and many countries did not want to go with these two groups so they all decided it was a great proposal by these important leaders like Nehru, Sukarno, uh, Nasser and uh, Tito from Yugoslavia so they decided to st establish this NAM it was uh, started in 1961 in a Yugoslavian capital of Belgrade Yugoslavia is no more a country now but uh, the Belgrade city is certainly there and in 1961 it was started we have never missed this event and the Prime Minister of India has always attended its summits it's the 19th summit, but in 1979, we did not uh, 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 attend it. And consecutively, for the second time, Mr. Modi is missing this event. They surely do not want to uh, give any importance to Nehru's idea. So it is the allegation there. And uh, second time, Vice President of India is going to attend that summit. So many questions are raised uh, on that issue. Last, last time also in the 18th summit, it, this issue was important. And this time again, they are giving it a miss so second is correct first is wrong only two is the right answer here this was the lesson today and please go through all these issues very important these are and we are gonna uh, raise the issue of ccit the convention uh, on international terrorism there which we proposed before un general assembly so we are again going to propose it so that's very very important and uh, we are all gonna discuss this uh, important thing thanks a lot keep watching if it's a we will meet again tomorrow with many more questions thanks a lot